and what they do, daily exercise, what they're consuming, uh, exposure to the sun and things like that will actually start to break down their DNA and the chemical composition or their scent profile will start to differ. So what does that mean? That means we can now employ a dog to do the work of a crime scene analyst. So how would that work? Basically what we would do is take the murder weapon that was found at the scene of the crime. And we're talking a murder weapon that maybe the fingerprint couldn't be lifted because of the material. So we would swab that, put that in here, and we'll put that to the side. Then we believe that there are two suspects. We believe it's suspect number one, suspect number two, described as five foot eight ugly males with dirty blonde hair wearing the same stupid shirt. And what we would do is come along and get their scent profile, put it in here, and scent profile number two. And then what we will do is present to the dog the scent profile of the